Welcome back to English Adventures with Teacher Kim. This isn't one of my usual lessons. This is a story, and it's geared more toward people who are teachers abroad, or who are considering being teachers abroad, or just want to know what life is like for teachers abroad. My regular students are welcome to listen and learn from this story. You can hear the musicality and the rhythm of English and see how much you understand. If anyone has any questions, you can put those questions in the comments section below and I'll be glad to answer them. I began my adventures in Southeast Asia in Thailand about nine years ago. I was offered a two-year contract for an English teaching position with K3, that was kindergarten, five and six-year-olds, and I'd be team teaching with a Thai teacher at a bilingual school. The first day of school was May 19th. I was so excited to get this job after spending time in northern Thailand. A week of it was in a hospital with dengue fever, but that's another story. I'll tell you about that in another video. I made the trip from Chiang Mai to Kong Khen and walked from my new apartment to the grounds of the school about five o'clock to check it out and make sure I knew where I was going the next day. After walking through the open gates to the international school grounds, I saw three women and a man by a housing area, and they appeared to be grilling food for their evening meal. I smilingly approached them and greeted them traditionally in Thai manner and language. I introduced myself as a new teacher. The man said, teacher where? As he approached pretty aggressively. Here, I smiled, pointing to the signage for the school over the office. I saw the sign of the school. I was looking around, wondering where my new class would be. And he said, get out. It wasn't the response I was expecting. I tried again. He let me know I wasn't getting anywhere and I was to get out immediately. And the women who had been smiling when I approached looked down. I returned the next day to my new school and introduced myself to the office staff, my amazing co-teacher, the department head, and other people who had arrived at the school. Uh, we were preparing everything for the students to come. When I met the director, I mentioned what had transpired the night before. He told me that I, what I was saying was impossible because the man doesn't speak English. There is no way he could have asked me who I was or told me to get out because he doesn't speak English. What? I told the co-teacher about what had happened the evening before and she spoke with the man who had been what I considered to be fairly aggressive with me, and she said that he apologized. She explained that he was the head of maintenance at the international school, and I found out later that his family were the caregivers for the director's child. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the guy who was aggressive with me told me to get out when I told him I was a new teacher at their school. Ah, within a month, he was promoted to be the vice principal of the international school. Anyway, the co-teacher and I decorated the room beautifully and creatively. We made a huge tree with paper, colored paper in the room. We decorated it. It was a wonderland for these five and six-year-olds. We were ready for them to arrive. The five and six-year-old kids were lovely. They loved the class. They were great. Their parents were great. Co-teacher was great. And going bowling with the staff was great.
and the, gov uh, the military took over the governmental responsibilities of Thailand while I was in Konken. I had no idea what to expect as I left my room that day and started walking to the mall. There was a tank and other armored vehicles there, parked there. People, the citizens of Thailand, were bringing flowers and food to the many soldiers. I remember thinking, well, I guess this is going to be okay. The head of the department spoke to me hmm, in a very graphic and personal way about his intimate relationships with his wife, something I didn't want to be hearing about. Um, and that's about all I'll say about that because many of my students are young and that what he was talking about was not appropriate for anyone, a teacher, a child, anyone. So I talked to him about it to set limits. He continued to do what he was saying before and he persisted. I ended up going with my concern to the director. Of course, this is the director, though, that said there's no way that that man could have been aggressive and told me to get out because he doesn't speak English. Anyway, it was pretty much decided that I was the problem, not the department head who was speaking about his wife in inappropriate ways. So I gave notice to quit. I. I remember looking out the classroom after a rain uh, in this class, not in the class, but there was rain and I looked out the window of the class to the sidewalk and saw a fish walking down the sidewalk on its fins. I'd never seen that before. There were quite a few things that happened in Thailand that I'd never seen before and couldn't have expected, couldn't have anticipated. So I wanted to share that story with you. Now, I left Thailand pretty much in the middle of the night to cross the border into Cambodia. Not too much long, well, it was a year later. And uh, after working at a university where the first night of my class of 55 students, English students, two women jumped up and started fighting each other. And I had to call security and my boss, and actually the police came also. But that's another story too. Just wanted to introduce this story talk to you today. Thanks for joining me and be sure to watch the other videos that are available in my channel.